Hola familia and welcome back to Leather Style. Today we are going to be talking about the best leather jacket combinations for men. And what that means is we are going to break down three different styles of outfits that are ultimately classic. You cannot go wrong with them and they are the best things to wear when you're wearing a leather jacket. And when we're talking about timeless leather jacket outfits, there is no better jacket to combine them with than the Hidalgo jacket from our classic collection. This is a full grain lambskin leather jacket made in chocolate and in black, and we were inspired by the Harrington jacket. So instead of using ribbing and a button clasped collar, we took inspiration from the Harrington jacket by adding detailing on both an elevated collar, the hem of the jacket, and the cuffs. So while these looks lend themselves to a moto style leather jacket, these looks should also work with any jacket inside of your collection. And we're going to go over three different categories of the best combination, casual, semi-formal, and formal. So let's get started. The best casual leather jacket combinations. So this casual leather jacket combo that I'm talking about is a classic that you've seen probably everywhere. And that is a simple t-shirt with casual pants look. You've seen this classic leather jacket look on so many icons, celebrities, Captain America, Wolverine, James Dean, the list goes on and on. And when you pair casual pants like denim or chinos with a classic crisp t-shirt, and a leather jacket, it just makes you seem put together. So there are a couple of colored t-shirts that I recommend with this combination. First is obviously the white tee. It's a classic look that shows that you can keep yourself clean, but it's iconic. So when you see it with jeans or chinos of any color, you can always pull this off and it looks casual and put together. And I specifically like the white t-shirt with a brown leather jacket because contrasting with a denim or a khaki chino, it just looks fantastic. But if I'm styling a black leather jacket, I like to go with a more monochromatic look. I think that going with a monochromatic black denim or black chinos with a black t-shirt and a black leather jacket just screams confidence. There's even been studies that show that people who wear black are more commonly associated with being confident people. So this might be something you want to try instead of the casual white t-shirt look. Additionally, if I still want to look casual but a bit more elevated, instead of wearing this look with sneakers, I'll wear this with our Marquez combat boots or any of our Chelsea boots because it looks fantastic and just a little bit more elevated. You can of course wear a more athletic watch with this type of look. I love a rubber strap that has a little pop of color. I particularly recommend looking at Tag Heuer for this because they make some fantastic watches that are a blend of both the athletic and the formal. So this casual look will be automatically elevated when you pair it with a combat boot, a Chelsea boot, and of course an athletic well-made timepiece. And I would recommend these casual looks for a casual occasions, something like meeting your friends at an evening bar or just going shopping around town and running errands. And when it comes to this casual look, you can of course wear a graphic tee, but I think a solid t-shirt looks better. You just look more put together and more subtle, so that way you let your entire outfit do the talking rather than pulling the eyes to one specific focal point. Now let's talk about semi-formal looks. So when I say semi-formal, I also think that this can be interchanged with business casual. And the occasions that I'm thinking of when I'm talking about semi-formal looks would be things like a classic work day or an outdoor lunch with some of the higher level executives in your team. And of course, you can wear these semi-formal looks to a nice dinner, a great date with your loved one, meeting their relatives, or anything else that requires a bit more elevation without having to be too formal and without the need to be too casual because you wanna show respect. So let's break down these semi-formal or business casual ideas. I love wearing a classic lightweight button down in a pastel color with our black or brown leather jackets. I think a light powder blue goes great with both colors. And of course you elevate the look by wearing loafers or lace-ups. You of course want to skip the tie because this isn't an incredibly formal occasion and you want to look a bit more relaxed. You can of course still wear this with an athletic watch that has a silver or gold face with a rubber strap, but you can elevate it by adding a leather strap to that watch and giving it just a little bit more of that timeless formal air. But if you're not a huge fan of button-ups, you can also wear a polo shirt underneath your leather jacket. This is perfect for those spring days where it's cold one minute and then a little bit warm the next. That way you can seamlessly transition from the warm weather to the cool breeze and you can still feel put together without having to worry too much. This lambskin leather jacket is perfect for this type of weather as well because it's lightweight and easy to put on, take off, 
off and it feels like butter. But let's move on to a new formal occasion leather jacket combination. And as a rule of thumb here, I would recommend being wary of when you're wearing this jacket for a formal occasion. Here are the rules of thumb that I like to follow. If you don't know all of the guests at this formal occasion, I would recommend wearing a suit. Whereas if you know all of the guests, you can opt for the leather jacket. A great example of this would be a board of directors meeting. If you're headed into a board of directors meeting and you're not familiar with the entire board, I would recommend wearing a suit. But if you're part of the board of directors and you and all of your colleagues are getting together, you can wear a leather jacket and make it look a little more formal so it shows that you're taking the business seriously, but you're imparting your own piece of unique style to it. Another rule of thumb is to think about the occasion and how much respect you need to have for the occasion. Something like a wedding or a funeral should likely have a suit because you care about the people who you're going to see and respecting their occasion. But something like a 50th birthday party at a nice restaurant, you can of course wear a leather jacket and elevate the look to make it more formal. Formal. And what changes a leather jacket from a semi-formal to a formal and a casual occasion is typically what you wear it with. So while for a semi-formal or business casual occasion, you can still wear chinos or slacks, I would recommend for a formal occasion, you wear some well-tailored dress pants. And when you're going to be more casual, you can wear loafers, but if you're going for something more formal, I highly recommend wearing lace-up dress shoes. Another difference is that you can still wear a sporty watch to a semi-formal or business casual occasion, while I would recommend wearing a more formal timepiece to your formal occasions. But be very careful when it comes to wearing a tie with your leather jacket because I think that when you're wearing black dress pants, a white shirt, a black tie, and a black leather jacket, you have to be weary that you might look like a waiter if you take your jacket off. And if you want to wear a formal leather jacket look to a party or a premiere, some kind of event, you can of course wear it without a tie, but I would recommend going for something more monochromatic in nature and layering on a vest underneath your leather jacket to create a pop of color, give it dimension, and make it more dynamic. Now for both black and brown, you can always wear gray dress pants, and then you can simply wear a white dress shirt, change your tie for something that combines better with the black or the brown jacket, and make sure that your shoes match the color of your belt that also plays off of the color of jacket that you're wearing. For instance, the look I'm wearing today is something I would consider wearing for an anniversary dinner, a business meeting in Leon, or even maybe a job interview depending on the job title that I'm interviewing for. But what do you think? Are these three combinations the best casual, semi-formal, and formal combinations that a man can wear with a leather jacket? And would you wear a leather jacket to a wedding? Let me know in the comments and let me know what other styles you'd like to see or what tips I can provide to you. And if you enjoy these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Your support makes sure that we can continue to make videos like this and we're doing a giveaway when we reach 400 followers. So when you hit subscribe, you're on automatically entered to win. And those are what I believe are the best three leather jacket combinations for men, whether they are casual, semi-formal, or formal. But I'd love to hear your opinions. And until next time, I'm Jose Noel Rocha for JL Rocha Collections, a family-owned leather goods business, and this was Leather Style. Hasta luego.